Hello, I'm Martin Looker from Silicon Labs. In this video, I'll be showing you how to get started creating Wi-Fi applications for the Silicon Labs SIWX91X series of Wi-Fi chips. This family is ideal for creating energy efficient Wi-Fi applications and is also Bluetooth LE capable and supports matter over Wi-Fi. You'll find links to the resources I show in this video in the video description. We have a range of development kits to get you started. The Pro kits feature a baseboard with radio boards that can be swapped out, allowing you to work with technologies like Bluetooth, Thread and Z-Wave, in addition to Wi-Fi. The Pro kit boards include buttons, LEDs and a screen. They also have circuitry to perform energy profiling with the software integrated into our Simplicity Studio IDE. For lower cost boards, we also have a dev kit which is great for prototyping as it has lots of sensors on board which can be expanded via the quick connector. Even lower cost are the Explorer kit boards from both Silicon Labs and also Azurio. These boards have a couple of buttons and LEDs and both quick and micro click connectors allow additional peripherals to be easily added. The final board, also from Azurio, is the Vida SL917 click which is in a micro E form factor, allowing it to be slotted into other boards, including Explorer kits, for use as a Wi-Fi network coprocessor. For this video, I'll be using the Azurio Vida SL917 Explorer kit, but the contents of this video apply to all the boards I've just shown. The Simplicity Studio IDE supports all Silicon Labs IoT technologies and accelerates application development by providing many examples to use as a starting point. These cover a wide range of technologies that are available over a Wi-Fi, along with tools like the Energy Profiler to fine tune your application for production. The Simplicity Studio IDE can be downloaded from the Silicon Labs website and is available for a variety of platforms. Once you've worked through the installation wizard and started Simplicity Studio, you'll be prompted to accept the licenses that apply to the IDE. Next, you'll automatically be taken to Simplicity Studio's installation manager. This can be opened at any time by clicking the install button on the main Windows toolbar. You can install appropriate SDKs by connecting a board, or you can choose to install by technology type, which is the method I will use today. Here, we will select the 32-bit and wireless MCUs SDK for installation. The WISE Connect extension provides support for developing Wi-Fi applications, and the Silicon Labs Matter extension for developing Matter applications. The next step is to select the installation options. I'll stick with the default auto option. The final step is to review and accept the licenses that apply to the SDK, which will then be installed. When there are updates to Simplicity Studio itself, the SDK or its extensions, Simplicity Studio will prompt you that they are available, or you can manually check and manage them by returning to the Installation Manager using the Install button. Before getting started creating applications, we'll check and update the firmware loaded into the board. Begin by making sure Simplicity Studio is in the launcher perspective. Then connect the board using a USB cable. Select the board once it is identified in the debug adapters panel. On the overview page, check whether there is a newer version of the adapter firmware available. If there is, install it. When up to date, latest will be displayed. Next, we will read the connectivity firmware version. Install a newer version if one is available. Once again, latest will be displayed when fully up to date. You can check and update both of these firmware versions from the launcher at any time. The final setting to check is that the preferred SDK is set to Simplicity SDK Suite. This provides access to example projects with code 
that you can use as a starting point to create your own applications. The Simplicity Demos option only provides access to pre-compiled demo binaries. These are also included in the Simplicity SDK suite. To make sure everything is set up correctly, we'll create, compile and run the out-of-box Wi-Fi demo, available from within Simplicity Studio. In the launcher, make sure the connected board is still selected in the debug adapters panel. Then go to the example projects and demos page. As you can see, there are a large number available for use with the selected board. They can be filtered using controls on the left. For example, I can filter to just Wi-Fi resources. I can also search for specific examples. Searching for box reveals the out of box example and demo. Example projects create example code in Simplicity Studio that can be used as a starting point for your own applications. Whilst demos will quickly transfer pre-compiled binaries into connected boards for evaluation when the run button is pressed. I'll create the example project to make sure everything is set up correctly by clicking the create button. The new project wizard provides the opportunity to customize the project setup. I'm just going to click the finish button to accept the default settings. Once the project is created, Simplicity Studio will switch to the Simplicity IDE perspective, where code can be edited as required. Some files for the project will be opened automatically and will include a README. Some Wi-Fi examples require the SSID and password for the Wi-Fi network to be edited into a header file. So check the README for instructions before compiling. The out of box example uses Bluetooth to transfer Wi-Fi credentials. So we can compile it as is by selecting the top level in the Project Explorer panel and then clicking the build button on the toolbar. Output during compilation is shown in the console panel. Once compilation is complete, open the binaries folder in the Project Explorer and right click the .s37 output file. Then select flash to device to open the flash programmer. Simply press the program button to begin the transfer. Then the close button once completed. We are now ready to run the application, which shows off just a few of the Wi-Fi software components that can be easily added to an application in Simplicity Studio. These include using Bluetooth to select and join an access point, pinging a URL, plus publishing and subscribing to messages using MQTT. There are instructions for all these steps in the project readme we saw a moment ago. I'm going to use the TerraTerm serial console to monitor the debug output. The settings are 115 200 board, eight data bits, no parity, one stop bit, no flow control. When I reset the board, I can see the startup messages. On startup, the board begins advertising using Bluetooth, which is used to transfer the Wi-Fi SSID and password. To connect using Bluetooth, I'm using the Simplicity Connect mobile application, which is available for Android and iOS. In the Simplicity Connect app, go to the Demos page and from this page select Wi-Fi commissioning. You'll then be prompted to connect over Bluetooth to a device advertising as BLE configurator. Once connected, the 917 will scan for nearby Wi-Fi access points and display them on screen. Select the one you want the board to connect to and enter the Wi-Fi password. The board will then connect to the Wi-Fi access point and display its IP address in the debug messages. The first thing it does once connected is to ping Scilabs.com five times, which can be seen in TerraTerm. Next, it subscribes to an MQTT topic on the Mosquito.org test server. Here, I'm running MQTT Explorer connected to the same test server, with a filter on topics containing SI917. I can publish to the topic the board is subscribed to from my PC and see the subscription update from the board in TerraTerm. 
The board can also publish to a different topic, which is triggered by pressing button 0. And the new message can be seen in MQTT Explorer. The out-of-box demo shows just a few options for transferring data over Wi-Fi. There are many more enabled by software components in Simplicity Studio. For your next steps, check out the other Wi-Fi examples. There is also general and API information on docs.scilabs.com. Just click the WISE Connect box to go to information specific to developing Wi-Fi applications. If you have questions, you can make use of the new Ask AI feature from here. Asking questions to obtain answers from the AI, which has been trained from our website, documentation, GitHub repositories, videos, and our community site. And if you need to ask a human questions, you can do so at community.scilabs.com by visiting forums, then Wi-Fi. So that brings us to the end of this video. If you followed along, you're now ready to start creating your own Wi-Fi applications using the examples in Simplicity Studio as a starting point. Don't forget, there are links to the resources shown in the video description. We'll also be adding new videos to our YouTube channel that will walk you through the creation of project-based Wi-Fi applications. So please subscribe to be notified when they're ready. Thanks for watching.